Hello, my name is Wayne Godsell from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the steps to configure Syslog on the Avaya VSP9000 using Enterprise Device Manager. By default, the Syslog feature is disabled on the VSP9000. Enabling Syslog allows you to send VSP9000 system logs to a remote Syslog server on your network. You can configure multiple Syslog servers on the VSP9000 to a maximum of 10. Syslog will allow a single point of log collection for any network elements in your network that supports the Syslog feature. The Syslog feature allows the user to select various levels of severity for logging. In our tech tip example, we'll log into the VSP9000 using the Enterprise Device Manager web interface. We'll enter the System Log Configuration menu by selecting the Edit, Diagnostics, and then System Log tabs. We'll enable System Logging by selecting the Enable checkbox in the System Log tab. Next, we'll insert a new Syslog server in the System Log Table tab by selecting the Insert button. We'll enter the IP address information of the new Syslog server and select the appropriate severity levels. We'll select Insert when we have completed our selections. Next, we'll view the new Syslog server settings in the System Log Table window. The System Log Table window will allow changes to the various viewable fields of the Syslog server config. Finally, we'll save the Syslog configuration changes using the floppy disk icon in the upper left menu of EDM. In our tech tip example, we'll log into the VSP9000 Enterprise Device Manager web interface with our admin username and password. We'll enter the System Log Configuration menu by selecting Edit, Diagnostics, and finally the System Log tab. Now we'll enable system logging on the VSP9000 by selecting the Enable checkbox in the System Log tab. Now we'll select the System Log Table tab and then select Insert to enter a new Syslog server entry. First we'll select IPv4 as our address type and then we'll enter the IP address of our Syslog server. Next we'll select Enable to enable the Syslog server and finally we'll take the defaults for severity settings and then select Insert to save our configuration. Next we'll view our new Syslog server settings in the System Log Table window. Here we can double click any of the fields of our Syslog server settings to make changes if required. Finally, we'll save our configuration changes by selecting the floppy drive icon and confirm our changes when prompted by the system. As you can see, configuring Syslog on the VSP9000 with Enterprise Device Manager is a quick and easy process. Syslog events are an integral part of troubleshooting an Avaya VSP9000 system and it's good practice to configure Syslog on all VSP9000 systems. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at AvayaMentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.